Okay, so what we're seeing in this video over here is a patient who has an implanted chemotherapy port. We also call this a CVAD in the hospital, which is a central venous access device. Essentially, this port sits completely underneath the skin, usually in the chest or neck area, and it connects to a catheter that threads into a central vein, either the IJ, internal jugular, which is what we have in this video, or the subclavian vein, and it ends right in the superior vena cava. What's cool is that because the port's under the skin, there's actually a much lower infection risk compared to an external line like a pick or tunneled catheter. Nurses access this using a very specific needle, and once it's accessed, it can actually stay in place for up to seven days, and this may depend on your hospital policy, but that's give or take the amount of days that you can have it accessed for one particular time. A few key nursing points I want to mention here is that we always wanna use a septic technique when accessing or deaccessing. Depending on your facility's protocol, your flushing may require saline and heparin. And as always, we are monitoring for complications like infection, clotting, or catheter occlusion. And then if the port is in the internal jugular site, watch for neck swelling, redness, or pain. This could signal a blockage or infection. So of course, ports are a lifesaver for patients needing repeated IV therapy, but maintaining sterility and proper care is what keeps them safe and functioning.